Hello everyone, I'm Carl Cassiano, I'm with um, John Jagger and Nelson, this is off script television, and this is our first ever sort of podcasty type of voiceover rant thing we're doing. Oh hey everybody, what's up? So yeah, we're going to discuss right now different Halloween stuff, because Halloween is here, we're in the month of October, we're going to talk about memories, about horror stuff, horror this or horror that. So how about you guys start talking a little bit? Oh, I don't know where to start. Mm. Uh, like, uh, what should we, what topics should we start with? Anything? Well, anything. Like, tr- you know, Halloween experiences, costumes, or whatever. You know, we're just bullshitting right now. This is something new I'm trying to experiment with right now. Uh, well, I can talk about, um, how I kind of, uh, was afraid of, uh, going up to somebody's porch because I seen, uh, a mutilated body, you know, sitting in a chair and all that because I thought it was authentic. Yeah, go on. Tell, tell the story. Uh, well, because uh, I have uh, grew up with a lot of uh, cousins that come by and all that. We don't do that that much anymore. And uh, I think the one that was brave enough to go up to the porch, regardless of uh, creepy uh, corpses roaming around the porches and on the ground, was my cousin Andrew. He uh, All he did, I remember one time when I was about to walk <laughs> up, um, this is what he would always say when you see a dead body next to him. He goes, ew, and he just looks, waits at the door. I just stand there like a pussy. Damn. I just go like, you know, I just freeze up. I get what you mean. Fuck that shit, I'm out. Now, so what about you? Any funny horror stories back when you was a kid that you ran off and got scared off of? Like that you could think of? The top of your head? Or on the tail? <coughs> well, there was a, a guy that was Michael Myers one year, and he was in his car and never got out of the car. I think he was there for like an hour. Ooh, that's... Yeah, he was uh, he was killing it. Almost similar to that uh, cosplayer who was Michael Myers at Comic-Con this year. Oh, yeah, that guy was kind of crazy. It's crazy how big Comic-Cons get every year with the different venue. Uh, hopefully, like, they have it so where people will feel so claustrophobic. Well, they're trying to expand it. Which is a good thing. Uh, you know, it's a super good thing. But when I talked to one of the people that worked there, they said even though it's going to be expanding, it's probably not going to solve anything. Mm-hmm. You're just. I have people. to agree with that. I have to agree with that. Uh, even though the idea of expanding it is good, still it's not going to resolve too much. Because yeah, there's too many people in this world. Mm-hmm. I agree. I agree. Where are we? Like six billion, depends. seven billion now? Uh, but that, that depends on uh, how many people will show up. Yeah. Because not everyone's going to show up. I agree. I agree. Depending yeah. on how many days uh, they choose to go. Yeah, like, who knows? Maybe they'll maybe add an extra day Wednesday or something. Yeah. Hump day? Mm, how are we going to do the Wednesday? Because Wednesday is where people, majority of people work. Yeah. No, yeah, I know. I mean, Thursday, uh, there's not that many people. I, I've never been to Thursday, so I don't know. I've been to Saturday once with Sean and them. It's pretty cool. I actually went to a Legend of Korra camp panel for season two a long time ago. Wow. Was his brothers there? Yeah, his brothers were there. It was it was, it was a cool experience. I, that's what I always say, you know, if you guys are going to go for like the weekend, let me know. Like, and I'll try to play, we'll try to plan it out. Yeah, we got to get yeah. a hotel room. Oh, scandalous. Not that type of scandal. Uh, Jesus. So also, guys, let me just tell you. Do you feel a fact that, you know, right now we had... The zombie phase, which I think is faded away slowly. Slowly, yeah. Slowly, slowly. And also, I feel like now, it's about the evil spirits. Because we had... The, the way, supernatural. The supernatural. Well, that and the slasher, if I recall. Well, the slasher genre, I think, is a bit dead. It's not like it used to be. You well, Hellfest is considered a slasher. I saw that in the theater. Yeah, I know, but... We got, we'll look at the box office numbers. The Hellfest did more than the Nun, unfortunately. Has not. anybody seen the Nun? No. No. Yeah. Although... I saw it. It was okay. For what it was. Though it did earn a lot of the box office. Yeah. Which is a good thing. But will it be remembered as the years go on? Probably not. Yeah. I mean... I mean, except except the only thing... Actually, people will remember it since it's tied to the... Um, the Conjuring. Yeah, Conjuring I heard the series. Hereditary is very good. Has anybody seen that one? No, I want to see it with you guys eventually. No, the Hereditary, we definitely got to check that out. Yeah, I, I have to check that out to cross that out before the year's out. I'm trying to catch up with all the movies that are released this year. I know. Yeah, for the Oscars next year. Oh, yeah, the big the big Academy Awards season stuff. But By the way, do you guys feel like 
If Michael Myerson's new Halloween movie, if it's a big success, the slasher genre might come back. If this movie goes really huge. Well, it could. It depends. I mean, if it doesn't do well, I mean, the slasher, you know, genre will still be around, but it won't be as popular like it's its heyday in the in the seventies yeah. and eighties. Oh yeah, my mom and I were watching The Walking Dead, uh, uh, the second episode of this of the current season. We were talking about like. We were just talking about, like, uh, how, for the first time I watched the first Halloween film with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was talking about, like, how scary she felt when she first saw it. And we talked about, we were even talking about the the promos for uh, for the new Halloween movie that had been coming up. Yeah. We were talking about, like, and I'm starting to see the light of things now, that the fact that Carpenter is involved with this one, I'm, I can actually sense his uh, presence, because... In the trailers, I can't help but feel like the shots are just right. The tone, the tone feels exactly what it was in the first film. Yeah, I think he's uh, composing the music, if I recall. Oh wow, I didn't know that. I, if I recall, I hope that's what I remembered. You well, know. That'd be great. Because my mom and I were agreeing that the scariest thing about Michael is when you see him at that prison, literally strained. Yeah, I want to know how he ended him, up there. And him just, you know, just standing there. I mean, of course, we're not going to see his face, but dear Lord, knowing that a some knowing knowing uh, that knowing there's a section of a prison that keeps cellmates strained is just the, just the thought of it is scary. Yeah, because got... they're chained for a reason. Yeah, people like if you ask me, people like Michael Myers and stuff like that, they have that aura of like they have strike fear through people's eyes or souls. Yeah. You know, there's certain creatures or people yeah. that's probably like that's what yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I'm liking about the promos. Just well, by looking at him, you can't help but feel afraid. Well, until the sequels kick, kick kicks in, and then that factor slowly dwindles. But let me ask you guys. Well, I'm just saying. Well, this is new for me because yeah. I have never seen any of the Halloween films. But I'm actually glad you guys showed me the, oh, the yeah. first. I'm gonna stream the second one so that way I can catch up since this one is actually taking place. Well. Yeah, After for two. what I can say about the Halloween sequels, at least it didn't fall into the comedy uh, genre like Nightmare did. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, poor Freddy. Yeah. <clears throat> Nightmare three. Yeah, my thing was I the first Freddy, the first one scared me, and then later on Freddy stopped being so scary. It's like with Chucky movie. The first two Chucky movies kind of scary when I was a kid, but watching 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 Brian and Chucky the other ones, it lost the thing, and I stopped taking Chucky seriously. Not as to a, mention it's written by the same guy that's been writing the Child's Play series since the first one. I know, too bad. I think his name is Don Don Mancini, I yeah, believe. Yeah, and now his bitch is getting with his solid soil. Yeah, now he's re, uh, rebooting it, I heard. No, yeah, this, not with the original people. Nope. Which is a shame. That is a shame. Yeah. You know... Let me ask you, Nelson. Was there... Because you told me Jaws, right? Yeah. Was something that scared you was when you was a kid. It did. I, and something like that. Which, I, I want you to expand on that for me real quick. Expansion. Like, well, just the idea of going in the water and a shark coming to eat you. Well, not just a shark in general, but anything that dwells under the sea that would sting you, bite you, or, or pinch your toe. Yeah, I never liked the idea of something like swimming a- around me, you know. Yeah. yeah, I get the feeling. I mean, if it if it's if it harms you, if it harms you, uh, my type of fear. Well, the dark is the most common one. So, well, it depends. Um, probably, hmm, somebody that uh, is someone that you know and love. I'm talking about movies like uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers and the Thing, because when I first saw those, I was. Uh, I was kind of paranoid of being around people because because of those movies. Oh boy, I like what you mean, like. For some reason, when I saw The Grudge, it scared me because, of, I don't know, something about that possession and the cat boy thing, it just freaked me out. And I remember I had nightmares. I would wake up with a heap of cold sweat. Like, oh my goodness. Now, uh... Um, Somebody did upload a gif of of a Grudge scene of a dude wake of, I don't know who the who was, but he was waking up from his bed and can't help but notice something uh, was watching him above. I think that's from the original. That's a woman that wakes up, I believe. Okay. Yeah, was that with the little boy uh, with his legs up and he's doing like this? No, he's the whoever's in bed looks up and a woman is staring at him from the wall. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me tell you, those movies. Have you ever seen those movies, Nelson? You uh, understand it's, why? It was it was just a gif that somebody uploaded on her Facebook and it just looked haunting. I, I didn't want to continue looking yeah, at it. Yeah, because they do. Have you ever saw that movie? I don't know. Just the I don't know. Just 
the first two in the original Japanese one just puts fear. Uh, have you seen uh, the Jap any Japanese horror films? I saw The Ring, but not the... the Ringu? No, I no. believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, no, I saw The Ring, I didn't see Ringu. Oh, uh, well, have you seen, or do you have an interest of seeing uh, Korean or Japanese Hell horror films? Hell no. Oh, they're on uh, Shudder. I, I, I'm a member of Shudder. I watch those movies on there. Yeah, nah. I remember watching The Ring with my mom. I was behind her couch watching it. Yeah. Uh, and let me just tell you, there's even certain horror dreams I think we all have, like a nightmare we all can recall. Oh, I like got that. plenty of that. Like, I remember... Because I had a fear of the strangers. Not the... Like, the second one kind of scared, scared my fear, but the fact that it was based on a true story, I feel like it was just the set and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, I think it's kind of silly now, but I still get paranoid. Like, if someone's at my house, like, I'm about that life. Can you imagine if you, um, on, you know, move yeah. this up, the shades up, and then there'll be somebody staring exactly. at you? Exactly. I was, Going like this? Yeah, I remember seeing the stranger thing, and I just remember, I had <laughs> sleep paralysis. I woke up, I just couldn't, I couldn't, like, I couldn't move my body or anything like that. I also saw something coming to my kitchen, but it wasn't. It was so weird. Yeah. So weird. No, the stranger's... Yeah, it's a silly movie, but My I remember the advertisings for that film, and I couldn't help but feel frightened. I had to dream that the characters from Hanna Barbera were trying to kill me. Oh my! What the fuck? Oof. I don't know. They said they were nice at first, and then they were talking behind my back. They were being very sinister. They were having this very sinister grin on their faces, and then they came. Uh, they were forming around me, and then after that, I just woke up screaming like ah! like that. And I had another dream where I was at a staircase, and the, uh, the, uh, what do you call that? The rail of the staircase fell, and I was, like, holding on to my dear life. That's pretty, oof. And I had one with Michael Myers in it. Mm. At, I think it's at the Myers house. Damn, I, I had one with a ghost face when I was a kid. When I, I was, like, some house, and he was killing, like, all my friends and stuff like that, and I got away. He says, no matter where you are... I will find you because I am screaming. I just were waking up. Like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, Nelson? Any nightmares you can recall? Heights. Oh, you have, um... Yeah. My yeah. fear of heights. Like, whenever, uh... Whenever I'm in the dream that involves going up high, then end up falling, I wake up. Oh my goodness. I... Ooh. Let me... You kind of say you were silly things that kind of scared us as kids, like... I used to be scared of Goosebumps. I was a kid. I was scared of the books. I was scared of the show. I was scared of Are You Afraid of Dark 2, by the way. And I just remember having mm. bad dreams like that. And it, it, I remember one I had a, a silly bad dream about these clay creatures. And I told my Uncle Kevin, like, I want to go home. I want to go camping with you guys outside anymore. He's like, Karan, you're, you're not a real man. Even though <laughs> I was like a kid. My the grandma picked me up. that scared me from Goosebumps was Welcome to Dead House. They go to this, area, uh, this town called Dark Falls, I believe. Oh, yeah, yeah. We... And then it turns out that the majority of those people were already dead, and they feast on the blood of the living. Yeah. So, yeah, it kind of, you know, vampire yeah. vibe to it. Um, one of those scary, like, silly things used to scare me. Like, oh, the this this Applejack cereal box, it had this one boy, right? Like, you can't really see his face. It's like, ah, it scared, the box scared me. Um, also, fucking, oh, the Scooby-Doo second entrance. Well, you see that green guy just pop up. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that. that got me. That used to get me sometimes. Cause... Yeah. That and the Curse of Cowley dogs monsters sometimes scared me. Especially oh. the har the spirit of the harvest, harvest oh, yeah. moon. Oh, I remember that one. What about you, Dustin? Any ridiculous things that scared you? Uh, you from the first Pee Wee movie, Large Marge. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. hated it. It looks like this. <laughs> oh, that was. Yes, sir. I saw the worst thing I've ever seen. Be sure to tell them Large March sent you. <laughs> oh, God. And also the clown scene. Remember who's the... Oh, the clown scene. And and the devil with Francis. Because yeah. yeah, he the was having a dream. Yeah, the clown, the clown scene didn't... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 with the doctor. <laughs> the clown scene didn't... Uh, I didn't find it that scary. Large March is the only one I did because I just hated that face. Yeah, because it came out of nowhere. Yeah, that that was it. It was out of nowhere. The the tongue, yeah. the mouth. Oh. Don't even start with the eyes. Oh, I hated the eyes. The miracle what you can do with claymation. I yeah. think yeah, it's claymation. I believe. However, I will give it that. It was the look that animation. I will, admittedly, as afraid as I was, 
well, actually, I'm not afraid of it anymore, but it still freaks me the hell out. But I have to admit, that kind of effort in that claymation was impressive. I will say that. Oh, jeez. Uh, what about you, Dad? Anything scary? I hate that face. Scary movies, I oh, no, because even Robot Chicken, Robot Chicken even parodied that, and I, I hated that, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they brought it up out of nowhere, too. I'm like, shit, they, they saw Pee Wee Herman, didn't they? Think- well, I was there was a, several scenes from the Disney Renaissance film that did scare me. Uh, Ursula, when she became you know gi- you know gigantic, yeah, yeah. Ugh, when she came out of that water. No, that act. Oh, well, I didn't find it scary, but I do understand. I do get why. Well, I saw this when I was like four, or five, no, three or four. Yeah, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, the different things we used to be scared of. Those, yeah. Like the simplest things. Sometimes. I can imagine that since every time I read the Call of Cthulhu, I imagine that scene, you know, Cthulhu rising like that mm-hmm. from that scene with Little Mermaid. Just replace Ursula with Cthulhu. I think Cthulhu probably. No, Cthulhu would. More yeah, scary. Cthulhu would. Yeah, give Ursula a run for her money. And then they'll be staring at Cthulhu, and then they die just the, just by the looks of it, because you know it's not meant for the human eye to see. The, interesting. So let me ask you guys. Halloween. Trick or treated. Tell me some of your favorite costumes you guys wore as Ooh. youths. Um, definitely uh, when I was the Joker when I in high school. I got a hug from a girl that just liked the, uh, when I was the Heath Ledger Joker. Nice. Cool. Yeah, she just, you know, complimented on the makeup. I told her that my sister did it and all that. Well, actually, no, no, I was in character. I didn't say anything about that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's everybody good. was commenting about how how I actually almost look like Heath Ledger. Probably right. I mean, would have been a good replacement. What about you? What about you now? Any cool? Any costumes you were growing up? Uh, I didn't wear that many costumes, but I did go as the Hulk once in um. Were you like in middle, in middle school? Green paint. I mean, no. In um. No, I never painted myself green, but I did rip my shirt up. That's I didn't cool. want. I didn't want. I wasn't that into putting that much effort. I was gonna say, well, wait, wait. You say you didn't wear that many costumes. So what did you wear though for like a trick or treat? Uh, torn up shirt. And uh, the green and the green gloves. Okay. The green gloves with the, oh, I remember the incredible green gloves. Hulk. Yeah. Yeah. Was that for the the, the two thousand three one or yeah. the two thousand eight? Two thousand three. Oh, two thousand three. Okay. Oh, I was going to say, Nelson, so did you, uh, did, you didn't dress up that much for trick-or-treating, or? No, I didn't. I didn't dress up that much. Wait, how did you get candy, though? You had to dress up for trick-or-treating. I didn't do that much trick-or-treating, either. What age did you, do you remember you went, you started, what age did you stop? I was born doing that. What age was I? Honestly, I don't remember, because that was a while back, so... My my first costume uh, when I was a baby was a Dalmatian because my mom is a big Disney freak. That's cool. I remember I was Batman. I was a werewolf once. Yeah. And the last costume I remember because I stopped trick or treating when I was fourteen was I was half my mask was Jason, the other half was Ghostface, and it scared a kid. And I was like, oh man, this is the best way to go out. Yeah, I was Freddy Krueger. I awesome. was uh, what was I? I think I was Jason. And then I was uh, the mask from the movie The Mask. Ooh. When I was Look like, it. I think I was three, five or six years old when they put that on. With That's the cool. makeup and all that. And I was uh, Jigsaw. Oh my god, everybody loved that too. That, I think that's just as good as the, the Joker one. The last one I, I, the trick or treating or when I was something was a zombie. This was 2011. That was a while ago. I trick or treated from when I was a baby till I was 19. Damn, John. Wow. You made it, you, wow, you, you, 19, that's what's up. Yeah. And then after that, that's it. Damn. Hey, so Nelson, did you did your parents not like you go trick or treat? That's why you didn't trick or treat that much. Yeah, I didn't do it that much. I just didn't find it. Um. There was not the, the, this type of area that we live in is not ideal for trick or treating. Well, in P- Cortland, no, but Peace Well, Peace yeah. Skill, yeah, but Cortland, no. Yeah, now Cortland is a terrible place to go trick or treating. Yeah, but I go trick or treating uh, in Jersey. Because, you know, they have sidewalks and all we that. We used to go, we go peace scale from Boston Street all the way down to different Main Street and to, like, the neighborhoods that came out big bars. I remember one, I remember there's this old ice cream shop. You'd be watching the street every Halloween. They gave out free actual size ice cream. Where was this ice cream shop? It was across the street from the, from the car dealership. It, it, it was cool. It was a cool spot. I, we were, when we go to back to Peace Scale one day, I'll show you guys. Yeah, maybe we'll do a documentary on that. 
but that will be for later. Yeah, but it it was cool, and I remember I always get a chocolate ice cream with chocolate sprinkles, and uh, but let's talk about something let me and greet. Halloween candies. What were some of your favorite Halloween candies or candies you like? Oh, candy corn. So candy corn. Uh, I mean, I, I like candy corn, but uh, it's not the type of thing I like. I'm go crazy about that Just candy. I always that candy. I always went crazy for. Uh, what I went crazy for? Hmm. Uh, well, Reese's and Hershey's. Oh, Reese's is great. Uh, Reese's is one of my favorite, favorite candies. Yeah. Also, milk chocolate Hershey's. I hate it when I got Almond Joys because I don't like Oh, I hate that. Almond Joys. Oh, I, I don't like the taste. Never been a fan of almonds. But yes, Reese's are awesome. Although, I always go for white chocolate for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Especially <laughs> the, the uh, what was that? that the Hershey's? Uh, Hershey's uh, white cookie one? I never white saw that one glow trick or treating before. Uh, I like the M&M's. I like all yeah, the M&M's. Yeah, I love M&M's, yeah. Um, Do you get money from some people? No. I got milk dubs. I don't like milk dubs. Uh, they're okay. They're no, not my favorite, but no, it's... And the small Twizzlers? I always like the small Twizzlers. Yeah, small Twizzlers, You yeah. see, Twizzlers, you, I'll tell you, when you go to Twizzlers, when you get Twizzlers from somebody, you get it from an old person, because old people love giving out Twizzlers and lollipops. Especially if they have those uh, candies from Christmas. Oh, yeah. But this was almost getting close to a year, and they, I don't know what the story is, I don't know, did they realize that they have these Christmas candies lying around? Is it safe to eat? They don't care, they just want to get rid of this shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Also, um... Especially if it's Easter. Um, also, I remember one year, I saw this, uh, when I was, like, a little kid, I saw the Rugrats, uh, fruit snacks, and it was, Yeah, like, I remember Oh, snacks, I remember those. It was, like, please take one. And I'm, like, all right, but... If I was nine, I'm probably gonna take, like, three. Oh, yeah, from this person that was giving out? Yeah, yeah, especially... You ever go to the ones that, um... Uh, what was it? They have the sign, you know, take... Like three or something. Yeah. But you just take the whole thing. Exactly. That's what I did. Like people, like I don't get why people do that. Like you know, these you know these are hungry. Sh- oh, I'm okay now. So I don't want one right now. Like you know these hungry sugar rush kids are like, ooh, ah, 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 candy, 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 ah. Sugar yeah. rush. Hey, sugar rush. Also, the parents, but the parents will take some too. And teenagers. Let me ask you: Have you guys ever went out for mischief night? What's that? October thirtieth, the day before Halloween. Your, my mom told me this. You go out. And you do this of like eggs people's houses, TP, oh, no. sort of stuff. Oh, I've seen the aftermath. I mean, I see people do that. Pumpkin, pumpkin bastion. I never did it myself, but my mom told me she did when she was. I like, saw uh, one street that was covered in to- uh, toilet paper. Oh my goodness, mischief life's crazy. Not much- and actually, my dad's car got egged so many times. Oh my goodness! Wow. Miss- someone left the toilet paper in our mailbox. Uh, my mom told me once where. Um, she went out for mischief night. Oh, yeah, our mailbox got egged, if I remember correctly, years ago. When she was 12, she went out for mischief night, or was a teenager, I think. She went out, but she got caught, and the cops sent her home. Brought her off home. She mm. got in trouble. Oh, Did man. they have to, like, you know, talk to her, like, interrogate her? I don't what know. She, did? she just told me she got dropped off. They told her not to do it again. Hmm. Huh. But I think mischief night is an opportunity, maybe one time I'll do it, just to see the, just to see the thrill of it all. Yeah, you're, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for Halloween, but I am. I'm too old for that shit. I know. We're not our youth anymore. It's all about these young punks. But these young punks, like, I only like the gluten-free candy. I don't want no real candy. Gluten-free, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I think I saw a meme on Facebook with these packages of these uh, Roman lettuce. You ever oh, seen those? Yeah. But the thing is, it's just the Roman lettuce in the product. It doesn't have any uh, ranch or dressing on it. Ugh. So that's a good alternative to eat healthy mm. for the children. Definitely. How about a celery? You see, <laughs> I swear to God, if someone gave me carrot sticks or a celery, I'm TP in their fucking house. You don't fucking give out that type of shit for Halloween. Uh-huh. Trick or treat. <laughs> yeah, guess what? You get tricked. Uh, oh, you know what? Halloween specials. You know, there's a lot of good ones. Like the Fairy on Paris Halloween special. I really like that one. Yeah. I do, I do like the f- Scary Godmother. You really like that? Oh, no. I actually yeah. liked the Scary Godmother. Oh, really? I liked the Scary Godmother movies. I didn't really care yeah. for it. I always thought that... I, I didn't like the animation. I just think the animation. I saw the woman that created Scary Godmother. Oh, yeah. She was a Comic-Con. Yeah. Yeah, but nah, I never watched it. I, like, I watched a little bit of I it. I liked it. But I just didn't like the animation. The characters look kind of gross looking. Oh, no. Well, well... I would the... stick to the first one. Oh, okay, no, yeah, I yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw the first one. I thought the characters look kind of gross, but I understand people like it. It, it built a great cult-like following. Yeah, it, it has, a, it has a charm to it. So, it's 
Scary Godmother is like the olive of the ray there. Of it's how yeah, you know what I mean. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get what you mean. Although what drives it back are the really the characters. The characters are good. It was fun. Yeah. And, oh, and Scary Godmother. The characters and the uh, the voice acting was good and funny. Any more Halloween oh, but, specials? Oh, oh, but there is one Halloween special that I will always forever love. Which one? Ed and Eddie's uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Boo Hoo Ha Ha. Oh, yeah, that was a really good one. That was the best Halloween special I ever, e- I'd ever ever seen. Can you quote one apart for me? After you've done two, 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 it's back, back, back. It's, it's, I'm, 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 it it's all right, people. This is our first time doing this. I, we don't have a name for it yet, but it's going to be something cool. Something I'll think I'll, I'll find the title. That's right, chew your show. It's our chew, chew, chew. All right, I'm chewing, all right? Ah! Oh, my voice should have done that, but yeah. Ah! Well, was it worth it? Totally. All right, I'll quote. Aren't I frightening? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You... What the heck are you supposed to be? Yes, Eddie, I'm more than four micrometers saw, yet I pack a truly terrifying punch. Don't get too close to me, or I may infect you. In the dark ages, I caused millions of deaths. <laughs> <laughs> the bubonic plague! I'm the bubonic plague! Uh... Like in your teeth? No! No plague! <laughs> plague! Plague! <laughs> too bad. Spooky girl? Here we come! Yeah, I think he should have had a lot more imagination when he came up with that costume. Oh, yeah. Eddie was zombie Elvis. Ed was Lothar, some Viking warrior. I am Lothar! Slayer of the undead, protector of Montezuma. <laughs> yeah. And WD was a... basically a germ for the bubonic plague. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that. That's not really. Scary. There's probably a scientific name for that, but it's probably hard to. Uh, it's a lot of. That's a mouthful. Yeah. Let me ask you: Do you guys think Nightmare Before Christmas is a Halloween movie or a Christmas? Movie? It's both. 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 Why can't it be both? Why do people have to pick sides? It's, know, it's a right? hybrid. It mm. is. Have you guys watched it this year? Or are you going to wait till Christmas? <laughs> oh, the good thing is, if you missed it for Halloween, there's a, it's good for Christmas. Exactly. Yeah. I'm glad it never made a sequel. It, it, it ended it perfectly. I'm mm-hmm. glad they never, like, sequelized it. No, I don't know how you can make a good sequel out of that. No, and, they didn't. And plus, thanks to, thanks to that movie. No, Hot that movie is too special to uh, well, mess around with. They made a video game of it, so that's close. And Hot Topic praises it. Oh, the shit out of it. Oh, hell yeah. This is no, I, heard, I did hear some good things about that game. Oh, yeah, yeah, nah. Yeah, I remember that. But that's the thing, though. The game didn't treat itself as, like, a true sequel, so... I, re- I wanted... No, I- but, uh... It has its charms. I wanted yeah. that game when I was a kid. That one and the Casper game. Oh, the Casper game. Um... But I love going to the Nightmare Before Christmas in Kingdom doing Hearts. That? I don't know if I play that one. It was for PS2. I like Casper and the Friendly Ghost. Oh, me too. Did you watch the uh, Public Domain cartoons? Yes, I, I did watch those back in the day. Yeah, and then the movie. I like the I like the first two movies. I said first three. Are you t- um? What is that? Uh, the Spirit's Beginning. Yeah, that one. The one with the boy and his dad. The second one. Yeah, that's the Spirit's Beginning. I, I like that one definitely. That was my favorite one for for some reason. I watched that one like a bajillion times. Probably. Yeah, yeah I'm not gonna lie to you. I always I felt more connected to the second one than I did the first one. Probably because it's the boy and his dad. Yeah. I I'm pr- probably prior because... to the first one because I watched that show many times. And also the actress. That's a different story. <laughs> Don't you dare mention that. Oh, John. What's her name? Christina uh, Ricci? Yeah. Wednesday Adams. Oh, she's, oh in, yeah. she's getting close to her 40s. Yeah. Hard she's... to believe. I know. She has a child now. I know. I'm a proud father. Keep dreaming. <laughs> hey, speaking of Halloween stuff, you know, one of the things I want to do, I'm, I'm going to try to do it next year, maybe. I want to go to Fright Fest for Six Flags. I, you always see the commercials for it. It looks mm-hmm. so cool. I always wanted to go. Yeah, we um, should do that next year. Would you guys want to go? I, 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 like, I want to go to try. Yes. Oh, dude, let's do it. Next year we're going. You heard this, people on YouTube, whoever's watching this. Oh, yeah, well, then they're going to put make the, put that on the list to make sure that's a reality. And, matter of fact, we'll do it, and we'll show our reactions for it. Hell yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh, yeah, we'll do that next year. We need an off-screen hug. We're, we're bring, we'll bring uh, some of our friends with us. Okay. Can Kai come too? Oh, God, Kevin Spacey's in the room, guys. Oh, what about me? Oh, God, guys, Travolta's in the room. Uh, you guys can stay. You guys can watch the house. Okay, make sure you guys watch Gotti. Oh, we're, we are next month, November. Toodles! Also, you know... All right, I locked the door. <laughs> did you know that the other day I kind of liked horror movie video games? But here's the deal. There's four of them I played that I just really loved. Fear 1. Mm-hmm. You ever heard of Fear? Yes. Heard of it, yeah. Yeah. Good, it was great first game. Third game kind of sucked. Dead Space 1. Yeah, definitely. Great. Oh, oh, let me tell you. No, I, the first Dead Space, I watched I, my brother play the hell out of that I game. I played it. And, oh, dude, that game was so good. Yeah, it is. I highly recommend it. If you get it on Steam, get it. Okay. Uh, Dude, that is a really good game. Believe it or not, the first Slender Man, I remember making, Yeah, yeah, I remember that one. I remember watching my mom play it, right? I've I, seen the playthroughs. I remember watching my mom play on the iPad, right? And me and my cousin... I was right here, my cousin Nick was the other side, and we were watching her play it. And I just remember when Slender Man popped up, we always jumped like, oh! <laughs> and of course, the second... I think it was Re- Resident Evil 3 scared me. Oh my god. The, I watched my stepmom play that game, and it's scared me. And you got a fourth one? Or you went through them all? No, I never played Resident Evil. I never played the fourth Resident Evil game, but the original ones for PlayStation were scary as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Wow, well, man, but that third one scared me. Oof. Oof. Also, the one game that kind of got me, the most scariest game I ever played ever, P.T. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, P.T. Um, yeah, I wish that was a reality. Me too. Ah, oh, dude, just the first few minutes that I gave us the... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I like it in, as you go along and then you're in this dark, you know, very pitch black darkness. 2.04 a.m. Don't touch that dial. That was We're just, just getting started. Look behind you. Oh, oh my goodness. Yo, when we, when we watched someone, that... Someone did uh, a short film pretty much copying almost closely to that gameplay. It was actually brilliant. What you said? What you said I will that? never forget the time I, I remember how angry I felt and mm-hmm. how I flipped out when I think yeah it was you that told we were we, we just yeah, we, we we just left Dave and Buster's from the Palisades. We had a really great time. I mean, no, I still had a great time. But when you dropped that bombshell on what happened, I couldn't help but feel so much anger. I know, Konami mm-hmm. and greed. I'm like, yeah, why? Yeah. I was looking forward to that game. I was gonna buy it. I was. I wanted to play the. Hell, I wanted to be scared. Yeah, we were, were watching it, dude. You were watching at John's house. Oh my god! Like, I, I wanted much. to buy that game and invite you guys over to my house and <laughs> record. And well, I didn't think of it, but I would have loved to record our reactions playing it. Oh, it would have been great. Oh. Like whenever who dies, we have to. Uh, we have uh, to we take have to, their place. Yeah. Oh my god! I remember the first time you. Do you know how much money, Konami, come on, do you know how much money you could have made? How many playthroughs people would watch? People's reactions? Nope. Oh my we hate god. Kojima. We mm-hmm. hate Kojima. That's fine. Fuck you. So, um... What about Del Toro? What about Norberitas? I don't know if... You brought them on board that project. Why, Konami? All that hard work for nothing. I think one I'm playing right now is called Horror in the Deep, where you keep going in down, down into the catacombs. Ooh. Yeah, I have it on save. I'm on the second level. Have you? you did you ever play Five Nights before? Yes. All four of them. I got actually no five. I gotta say they're cool, but I feel like uh. Mm, it, their popularity is already dwindling, and they're already they're making a movie with Christopher Columbus at writing and directing it. Christopher Columbus? Do you like discover America? Chris America? Columbus. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, hey, but let me same ask, thing. Let me ask you um. What about that scary game you told me about the guy, like the poop game? Um, oh, poop yeah. game? Oh, uh, what the hell is that? D- uh, Dump in the Dark? Dump in the Dark. Oh, my God. That's still on my list, but now you mention it, and I'm going to probably, uh, it's not actually not that uh, expensive to download it. You know what would be a cool, sh- uh, either Netflix original show or a Netflix movie? And they made Doki Doki Literature Club, but did it correctly. Like, they tried to put, like, oh, dude, the psychological edition of that, that game, oh. Oh, yeah, I played that one. You were, no, so you were, you were Doki Doki Literature Club? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, it's... I tried to download it, but I, I, uh... I played it for, like, one day. I tried to download it, but I couldn't. Damn, you beat it in one day? Yeah. Dude, that game, ooh, that game Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you. you told us that on chat. Yeah, that game fucks with you. 
Well, here's the thing. I don't know. I, I wouldn't put it, make it as a series. I think it's fine as it is. Because making it into a series it requires... It's going to lose up. Yeah. It will lose its appeal. Ah. And then the review. Now, the Christopher Columbus part. Did I say Christopher or Chris? Christopher. You said Christopher. Oh, Columbus. I said Christopher. Yeah. Well, Columbus, they just happen, Josh. So it happens. It happens to the best of us, you know. I remember I thought I said Chris Columbus. It, it happens. It happens. It happens. And then you said Christopher. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know what Water Horrible we're looking forward to? Strawberry Flavor Plastic. When that comes out, I'll go watch it. Oh, yeah. Going. Did you find out when? He, or... he didn't tell me when, but when it does. Ooh, can't wait. It's going to be in the festivals? Or already went to the festivals? It, it said different festivals in Europe. Like, oh, oh yeah. Spots. And, you know, which I, I, I wish... wish What's the praises for that over there? Very high praises. If you look up the reviews for it, good reviews. Good reviews. I don't want to watch the reviews until I see it. For what? My friend Kyle's movie. The guy who you have a donate for his next movie project. Oh, yeah. The Noise and the Cherry. And it's going to be pretty good. So anyway, fellas, I feel like... Let me check the time real quick. 35 minutes. I feel like this was a great first episode for our okay. podcast thing. So All right. any closing things you want to say real quick? All right. Now here's the one that nobody talks about. Okay. Has anybody read a story or heard a story oh, from books. audio? Yes. Short stories, <laughs> novels, anything. The first Frankenstein. I remember we had to read it for school. And I thought that shit was scary. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, what edition is it? The 1835, I believe. Because there's different edi- different editions that they made. There's an 1818 or an 1819 version, which is the original I one. Don't remember, but I just remember the cover art looked disgusting with the creature on, on the cover of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it was. Oof. It was pretty gross. What about you now? I'm not that into audio books. Or scary books you were reading or you had to read for school. Or yeah, short stories. No, no. Okay. I didn't read I didn't read that much. Let me see. I gotta really think about that because I got a lot of favorites. Um mm. Dracula, yeah. Well, this is not a horror one, but we did do a project on To Kill a Mockingbird, but that's not considered. That's not a horror, no. No, is it? Not but that was a subject that was a book subject. I mean that was a book report. Yeah, book report. Yeah, that was a book report that I did enjoy. Okay, I, well, the one that I uh, read many times was uh, Dunwich Horror by H. P. Lovecraft. That takes place in Massachusetts. Yeah, boys, he is a big H. P. Lovecraft um, fan. That um, Jerusalem's lot is it Jerusalem? Survivor type by Stephen King. That one's very gruesome. It's a guy who uh, is a lonely on the island. And he has no food, and then he breaks his legs, and then he decapit- he Ooh. amputates his foot, and then he amputates his leg, and he amputates another one, and another one, and of course, I think you get the idea why he keeps doing that. Jesus Christ. Damn. Did you ever read the uh, Justice League Black Boot of comic books? Um, I read a little bit of those a, whole lo- a long time ago. Hmm. I haven't read them in a little while. Uh, well, you, you, read Steve, you both read Stephen King's It, though, right? Yeah, I have the entire one. I never did. Let me ask you, do you got, what, how do you feel about Stephen King as a horror writer? Hmm, I think he's better as a short story writer. His no- novels tend to go a little bit too much. Because the Tommy Knockers I tried to start on, but it was just too long. It would be better if it was a novella. Uh, it was good because it had many elements. I mean, there were problems. Like the gangbang scene. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Misery. That one was a good uh, suspense thriller. Uh, the movie was good, too. I've seen so many parodies of that, of uh, that story. The Shining was a good book. Though I can see why... Um, I think I watched the one that he wrote for the miniseries, but I didn't thought that was that good. I liked the Cooper version. Yeah, it was different than the source material, but it was. You get great. why people don't like that. Don't like uh, Cooper's version of it. Yeah, but well, I for think, anybody who read the book, I mean. Yeah, well, the thing was, I think there was a. I think I can see why he he picked the pretty much the bone basics of the story, and then he just made his own thing. Yeah. But I, it's my, it's one of my favorite movies. Because there's a lot of things that, uh, because I'm watching stuff that he added, subliminal themes and all that. Also talks about uh, stuff about America, especially with the Native Americans. He did that a lot in his movies. 
Yeah, but they all deal with different themes. I mean, I mean the themes of a uh, uh, the up up themes of America. Well, uh, yeah, he did. He also with well, Clockwork was more of a commentary on England. Uh, you know what was going on in Europe since he lived oh. there. Oh, okay, never mind. And uh, Full Metal Jacket was about the Vietnam War. Well, ob- obviously that that yeah. was that that one. Uh, yeah, it was pretty obvious. And Eyes Wide Shut one. was about. Um, Intimacy and marriages and cults. I'm gonna put that out there, but there's probably more to the movie than. Yeah, I haven't seen it, but I have seen the trailers for that. I will say, I I really really enjoyed Full Metal Jacket. I plan on watching the movie in full. I mean, I didn't watch the entire beginning when I first watched it. I freaking love that movie, Full Metal Jacket. I will say this though, Full Metal Jacket was the is probably the first of Kubrick's films that actually like really caught my attention. Probably because it. Well, it's a war movie, and probably the only one with the concept that I actually understood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Has anybody seen the original Exorcist? No. My mother still list. can't even watch that movie. It's not when she list. first saw it. Yeah. Now, I listen. Got... Ever since that, ever since that movie, she never wanted me or or my siblings to watch it because yeah, watch. Don't watch it on television. Watch it on um, either stream it or get it on Blu-ray or DVD. Right. So yeah. After that movie, my mom... That's the reason why I hadn't watched too much horror, because, well, besides the fact knowing it was scary, it's just that she uh, knew that we couldn't handle it as kids. Well, I couldn't handle it, but I was very curious. I watched... Um, the one that kind of terrified me was Amityville 2, The Possession. I think what terrified me was that uh, this boy was possessed. It was a exorcist ripoff in the, in the third part. And uh, he keeps ripping his face and, and keep ripping his skin, muscles. That kind of fucks with you, man. Just like um, the um, candy man. That could fuck with me. Wait a minute. I think the face... Wait, didn't... Uh... Family Guy, this is like that. Anyway, oh, know. yeah, that was from Poltergeist. Poltergeist, yes. Yeah, Family mm-hmm. Guy did... I, that one freaked me out, too. <sighs> yep, you... Yeah, when Peter Griffin did it, he ripped his face and he turned into... Hank Hill. Hank Hill. Propane. Also, um, did, did you guys, let me ask you, did you find Beetlejuice at least a little bit scary or not at all? No. Mm, let's see. Maybe when I was little, but not as much. Let Maybe me, when I first saw the sandworm. All right, let me ask you, buy or sell if you had to choose? Michael Keaton's Batman or Michael Keaton's Beetlejuice? <laughs> Mike Keaton's, ooh. That's a tough one, dude. I know. To sell? He had to buy one and he had to sell the other. Buy one or sell. I have to sell his Batman one because I like Beetlejuice. I'm sorry. I love the cartoon. I like the movie. So I'll sell Bat. Sorry, I'll sell Beetlejuice because I just love Batman. Batman is uh, one of my is my uh, third favorite next to uh, the Flash and Superman. I'll talk about his portrayal as Batman. And the portrayal of Batman, uh, pretty much uh, like the whole world of. No, 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 no. Him yeah. as Batman. Where the face him as Batman or him as Beetlejuice? Which one do you have to sell? Oh, if I have to sell, uh, I would sell Beetlejuice. Okay. See, I, I really liked uh What would you like choose? Batman. See, it was tough for me to choose too because I love my I thought my kid played a great Bruce Wayne and a pretty good Batman. Yeah. But I would I would choose I would rather choose this Beetlejuice because I thought he did his role really good from comedy to be serious. It was a really good blend. Yeah, yeah. I gotta keep that. So I'm sorry, but I just like that portrayal. I don't think nobody can be Beetlejuice the way Shout Michael Keaton did it. So that's why I'm keeping him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, Batman, well, uh, I don't know, maybe because, you know, since there's a lot of Batmans, <clears throat> maybe, I don't know, because I, I saw, oh yeah, I saw American Psycho. Oh, which one, the? The one with Christian. Oh, yeah. yeah. How was it? Ooh, what a ride. Christian Bale was playing really good one. Oh, Yeah. I'll show you a clip, a non-popular clip after this uh, podcast. Let me ask you: If you had to choose to either spend 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 the week weekend either with Christian Bale's character or Steve Carell's character or Fox character, which one who, who would you rather spend the weekend with? Um, I would have to pick uh, Christian Bale's portrayal of Patrick Bateman because at least he knows how to keep a conversation. Dupont, he'll probably just stare at you and just talk about stuff related to. Um, with birds and wrestling. I'll go with Bale. Because <laughs> I want to. I like to talk and I like to keep the conversation going. Oh gosh, I'll probably pick Dupont just because I like a challenge. Hey, Kron. 
You have any idea who I am? Yeah, you're the pod. Really? Um, do you know why I like birds? They do very simple things that mankind can't do. I'm not interested. No. I'm going to make you be part of my wrestling. Uh, I'm a wrestling coach I... for the Olympic Games. I'm okay. I have a bad shoulder. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> You sound like Sid from Hey Arnold. <laughs> Ta-da! Maybe he grew up to be Tupac. Exactly, right? You're exactly. Uh, but let me tell you, we also have horror c- characters in our show, from like Punk Man, the Chuckos, the Skelly The Who knows what else we're going to get. Depends when we go... Well, Wednesday, when we meet up each other, like, we'll go to Walmart, see what's already there. I checked the times for the L- Royale for tomorrow. So there's a 4 o'clock showing. Well, the thing is, I'm going to be with my I dad. get off at four. Damn it. Both of you. I'll give you a t- uh, set schedule. Maybe I'll check my phone after this. I am off Friday and Saturday. Oh, wait. Saturday is when I'm heading to uh, my friend's No, no, home. no. We can't do it Friday, Saturday because mid-90s and Halloween comes out. Oh, okay. And, um... Wait, when does Halloween come up? Oh, wait, this Friday. I forgot. I'm seeing that with my cu- my, with my, uh, my sister and her fiance. You her husband. bastard. We're going to the Alamo. You said we we're, were all supposed to go together as a group. I already told you this two weeks ago. You son of a bitch. But I want to see, after that. I want to see mid nineties. I want to see if it if it gets nominated for an Academy Award. So first you slap me, and now you try to fuck me. How dare you? Ew. First <laughs> of all, you don't have. First of all, you have a thingy, and second of all, I don't roll. That I way. fail portray. You portray me. You all portray me. I fed up with this world. That's me drawing my tissue box. Oh, drama queen. Oh, my God. Drama queen. So emotional. Can you you do it? All right. Hold up. He's reaching in. He's reaching in. Yeah. He's so hit. so hit. Stop it. Sorry. Ah, damn it. Hold up, uh, hold up. He's built his energy. Trying to get in the character here. I'm just taking notes. So emotional! That was good. That was good. Okay, uh, can you do it this time <laughs> with a banana? Why would I want to do it with a banana? No! No! We're not, we're not doing it with a banana. How about an orange? Hey. No, no, no. How about a fruit basket? Then maybe it'll make it easier. No, 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 no the fruit basket. All right, how about this? We're going to do it live. We're doing it live. Fuck it. So, uh, fellas. Let me Fucking just... thing sucks. So, fellas. Hey, got... what happened to, with your thing with Fox? I won't talk about it. Of course you won't. No. Now, fellas, <laughs> this has been a great first episode of this podcast. And I gotta say, it was great having you both here. Pleasure. <laughs> and Nelson, sorry you got stabbed during the podcast and you're slowly bleeding out. I am? Yeah. Oh, I wonder if Link's so loose. Yeah, and anyway, guys, John, closing segment, set, closing words? <sighs> hap, hap, happy Halloween. Make sure it's a nice bang. <laughs> and make sure you eat the candy, especially the glass ones, kids. <laughs> Call a doctor. <laughs>